Hi everyone. For two days we are not having rapid revision. No, sorry for inconvenience because I am not feeling well. That's why. It's okay. We will see five more current affairs today, which will be easy for you to revise and recollect. Hope you all change your centers as per your convenience. I think so. If not, keep trying. So the first one is Jal Jeevan Mission. It comes under the newly created ministry, Ministry of Jal Shakti. What is its aim? Means provides portable water. At service level of fifty five liter per capita per day to every rural household through functional household tap connection because there were tap connections in many rural areas but they are not functioning without proper water management by twenty twenty four it focus on service delivery and not and not on infrastructure creation so. you have to focus on the aim because they may confuse you with rural or urban or all so as its aim is to provide functional household tap water connection in rural households so it needs the local self government local self government it needs its permit it needs its cooperation so water and sanitation committee arpani samiti is which is working under local self government at that is at uh, gram panchayat level it will be constituted at village level the emphasis will be on water quality surveillance especially the front line workers will be women that is five persons especially women will be trained because rural women will have empowerment through this also that's why because rural women are the most affected victim in collecting water for their household families so we can say in maharashtra region and all there are concepts like uh, water wives that is uh, there will be men who is marrying more than one woman for water collection so school and the college students will be given field test kits in rural areas and through that uh, people participation will be enhanced and every source which are all recognized as water source will be tested once every year um, based on physical and chemical parameters and twice for bacteriological contamination to avoid water pollution because we know the national capital territory is popularly known as pollution capital both for air as well as water that's why so next one so excise malabar malabar is a term used by the europeans okay since 1992 it was a bilateral excise between indian and usn so later it became a trilateral excise since 2015 when japan was included under this it is just to strengthen naval cooperation in indian and pacific ocean it increases the interoperability among indian na indian us and uh, japan navies uh, based on their shared values and principles bilateral excise between india and us is yuda bayas it is an annual excise as well as there are bilateral excises uh, between india and japan as well as we have seen already dharma guardian others are gmex shinyu matri okay so always uh, remember the bilateral excise and trilateral excises uh, or multilateral excises uh, okay next nikshay poshan yojana nikshay poshan is nothing but the eradication of tuberculosis scheme so our program it is a direct benefit transfer scheme because it gives nutritional support to tuberculosis patients because eradication of tuberculosis in india is the main target nowadays so 42% of the benefici beneficiaries have received the benefit through dpt scheme under nikshay poshan abhiyan they have different payment options like uh, public finance management scheme or the nikshay pmfs scheme especially what is tuberculosis it is caused by bacteria it is a bacterial disease remember they will confuse you with the words like uh, viral or fungal okay so most often it affects the lungs it is curable and preventable because uh, we are having vaccination program also one of the top 10 causes of death in the modern era and it can occur from a single infectious agent like aids disease or hiv both are same only so next one is multi drug resistant tb that is due to the mixture of more drug combination the resistance has been developed in human nowadays so there is occurrence of multi drug resistant tb is also there which is very uh, health which is causing very tedious health security or health threat nowadays so it is a public health crisis and it is a health security threat most of the cases who are resistant to rifampicin which is the first line drug used for tb 78% are having 
மல்டி ட்ரக் ரெசிஸ்டன்ட் டிபி பட் த டிபி இன்சிடென்ஸ் ஹாவ் பின் டிக்ரீசிங் பர் இயர் பை டூ பர்சன்ட் வாகன் வாகனம் வி வில் சேனோ ஸோ வாகன் இட் கம்ஸ் அண்ட் மினிஸ்ட்ரி ஆஃப் ரோட் ட்ரான்ஸ்போர்ட் அண்ட் ஹைவேஸ் இட் இஸ் அ டேட்டா பேஸ் தட்ஸ் ஆல் எ பிக் டேட்டா கலெக்ஷன் which will link all the vehicle data to avoid the harassment using vehicles and inconvenience to citizens because vehicles are stolen and used for many other illegal activities nowadays for that also it can be used especially all the pollution and road control centers should have to upload their emission test data electronically to the vahan database in order to avoid air pollution or decrease air pollution as per the amendment made in the rule 115 of central motor vehicles rules 1989 all the vehicles that is a pollution control certificate should be added to the vahan vahan database and it is operationalized since the amendment has been made in motor vehicles amendment act 2019 also there is an app called saradi which is similar to vahan database ins nilgiri can be asked in this your problems because it is indian navy's first new stealth frigate stealth frigate is nothing but which is unable to detect by radar or sonar or any type of technology frigate means it is a ship that's all okay which is used for defense purpose so it comes under ministry of defense it is the first ship of 17a project 17a okay project 17a is nothing but a derivative of shivali class stealth frigates which is used for defense purposes under indian navy so we are having indigenous weapons and sensors in this and we are using and we have built this using integrated construction technology because it has improved survivability sea keeping stealth and ship maneuverability that's why this is so important because project 17a or shivali class stealth frigates are the first warship stealth frigate stealth warship built in india uh it is preceding the talwar class frigates because they these are shivali class stealth frigates or multi role multi role frigates also it has land attack capabilities preceding the talwar class frigates six more are there under project 17a or shivali class stealth frigate so thank you for watching subscribe to our pais channel till then stay positive stay healthy keep smiling be happy thank you